Well, what's good, everybody? It is a glorious Hello. Thursday morning. And why? Why do you ask? Well, it's September 1st, 2022. I am the coach, and this is your daily sports betting brand of record. We call it the early edge. We are powered, as always, by the almighty sports line, the best value in all sports betting. And it's not close. College football officially starts tonight. We actually have ranked teams playing tonight. It's week one, and we are jacked for it. But you get all your bets here. We want you to know, where do you follow all your games? Put it right there in the front of your phone, the CBS Sports app. Track everything. And it's free, 100% free. Now, before we look forward, we must look back. Yesterday, the epitome of what I call a ho-hum day. Literally 500 across the board. Now, your boy, I was 2-0. and Felt good to be back in that winner's circle. But it's short-lived because we got to get to today. And boy, do I have an embarrassment of riches today. Look at the crew on day one. I call it day one of college football. So with that being said, with all due respect to ladies first, this is college football day. So Emory Hunt, welcome back to the early edge, sir. Always glad to be back, man. There's a lot to get into this uh, this to this episode and also this weekend. There's a ton of great college football matchups. Oh, they can see you all over CBS Sports HQ. You're going to be on the early edge. You're going to be everywhere this fall. Just turn on those notifications. Follow my man. Now, <clears throat> you can see her everywhere. She was in Boston at a Red Sox game. She's at the Mets game. She's everywhere. Allie Bell. Good morning, my dear. Good morning. I'm still happy that the Rays were able to come through in those extra innings for us last night. Oh, my gosh. It was like a sweat after a sweat after a sweat. Thank goodness. Nobody wanted to score in that game. Nobody. Now, <clears throat> he always brings the weather report, and he has been diving deep into the U.S. Open. Mikey, this is like heaven for you right now. It really is. You know, it's the first day of September. To me, that's fall. I don't care when fall actually starts. It starts <laughs> on September 1st for me. Nice, cool morning here in Nashville. U.S. Open about to fire up for the day. Got some baseball. And then, of course, college football. You mentioned it. It is the first real day of college football, and I'm here for it. Let's go. You're damn right you're here for it. Such a big part of what we do at Sportsline and the Early Edge. The chat is popping today. Sportsline, always worth the subscription kit. Look at those four goats on my screen. So much positivity this morning, and we are here for it. Let's get into it. Storylines could affect the betting lines today. We have just one, and I know it's college football. There's going to be a lot of attention there, but some things can fall through the cracks. Allie, you're up. Yep, so the Marlins, as of now, they've scored two or fewer runs in five straight games. And tomorrow they start a series against the Braves, and they are 9-4 and four against the Marlins this season. Um, I would definitely just keep an eye out, um, see if this game opens. Maybe you can get a good deal on the Braves some way. But um, one of the things I was just considering and definitely taking early is that team total under for the Marlins. Oh, I love the team total under. It's like they're like pulling teeth trying to get them to score runs. Very good storyline. Look for the Marlins team total under, maybe even a first five under as well. Usually it's one and a half or two. All right, we've got a lot to get to on our board today. But before we do that, you guys know, you know that we have to pay those pesky little bills. Here's a word from one of our incredible partners. And we are back. All right, we've got a little bit of everything today. Don't forget as well, our college football mega preview with A.B. and the boys in your feed right now. you got early edge in five later today at 4 p.m. Eastern time. But when my man is on the show, when my man is on the show, you know I'm a little extra hyped. And on day one of college football, oh, M squared, you know the drill, son. Oh, he can write about it all. Tennis, golf, football, happy place, day baseball. We got it all. Oh, give it to me. All right, Coach, let's hit college football here. We're going Pitt, West Virginia, first quarter, under 10.5, minus 115. Love this price point here. I also have a little sprinkled on 10 at uh, plus 118. I like both, but a lot of you will like to play the under 10.5 at minus 115. Look, both of these teams are going to be just a little bit stronger on defense, while Pitt I still expect them to be dominant in terms of the offensive line. I expect them to have some success running the football. They have, they're have they going to have to run the ball. Look, they're dealing with losing Kenny Pickett, Jordan Addison, and, of course, new offense. Offensive coordinator Mark Whipple is gone. But, again, they do return the entire backfield and a very stout offensive line. In the first quarter, what we see typically in a lot of these defensive 
hard-nosed rivalry games. We see no real sense of urgency. We want to protect the football a little bit. We still see a little bit of a conservative game plan. That's exactly what I would expect with all the new pieces in this game. Let's go under 10 and a half in a nice, healthy sweat in the first quarter. <laughs> I love a nice, healthy sweat. I love when they score a touchdown like halfway through and then we get that text from you. What could go wrong in the next seven minutes? That's when we know we're knee deep in college football. So we go from one college football game. I'm going to call an audible. I want to go to another college football game because I'm hyped. So, Allie, I'm going to need you to wait because Emory Hunt, I'm looking at you, big boy, and I think you're looking at a big spread as well. What do you got? Yeah, a lot of folks are afraid of big spreads, but when you look at this Minnesota game, I feel like Minnesota is somewhere you can feel confident in. You have Kurt Soraka returning to Minnesota. If you go back, what, two years ago, that's when Minnesota was putting up crazy numbers. They also get Mo Ibrahim back at running back. We should see the best of Tanner Morgan at quarterback. Their offensive line is solid. That's going to always be the case in Minnesota. And defensively, they are really good. They are one of my dark horse teams to come out of the Big Ten and meet Ohio State in the Big Ten championship game. But in this ball game, all of those factors, they want to get out to a great start. So I'm laying at 35 and a half, 36 with Minnesota. Oh, ho, ho, ho. guess what? I'm going to play that with you, big boy. I'm going to play that with you. Sweat free. It could be what? 43 to six, two minutes to go. All the starters are out. Let's break that 45 yarder with the fullback. Now, I just got a text. I swear I did. Mikey was giving his take on Pittsburgh, West Virginia. Micah Roberts just texted me. He says, Coach, Mikey's inspiring me. Can you throw an extra play from me and Sportsline onto the show? I said, no problem. He said, give me Pittsburgh minus seven, minus 120. They won seven straight season openers. Ten and four against the spread last season. Fifth best in all of the FBS. Look how quickly my graphics team has this ready. When we get a text from one of our cappers, that shows we're in midseason four. Thank you, Michael Roberts. Thank you. By the way, if you're not a Sportsline member yet, I'm going to do you a solid. If you use the promo code early, promo code er – no, no, I've changed it. See? Promo code EDGE. I'm going to give you 30 days for free. There's never been a better time to join and be a part of the fastest growing community in all sports betting. Nobody's going to make fun of you. Nobody's going to talk down to you. You're going to be included. Come be a part of what we're doing. All right. Now, sorry for the ad lib there. Allie, I feel like you are laser focused today. And I feel like you and I are kindred spirits because we're on the same game, just different bet. What do you got? Okay, so I'm going to go with the Brewers on the money line at minus 135. Um, I think we have a pretty equal pitching matchup here with Brandon Woodruff. He's 9-3, and three, and then Merrill Kelly, he's 11-5. and five. Um, But really, one of the things um, that really got me on this play was last night, the D-backs losing, um, gave up 18 runs to the Phillies, and they went through a ton of relievers, and a lot of those um, didn't do very well, and they kind of got through quite a few pitches. So I don't think they're going to have a lot of options today. And just given the fact that we have a kind of ish equal starting pitcher matchup, um, I think that bullpen advantage is huge. So I'll take the Brewers on the money line. And see, it's because of that, Ali. I'm glad you just gave my take for me. I don't need to say anything because of all those relievers being used because the last three nights, 20, 15, what, 20? I mean, you can't even add these numbers. That's the total amount of runs in those three games for the Arizona Diamondbacks' last three games. So I'm going to go over seven and a half, and it's even money. And it's simply because of Woodruff on the mound. So it's great for Allie's bet, and I think it's going to be great for us. I think the Brewers could cover this by themselves. That's how bad the D-backs pitching is going to be because they used everybody the last three days. Allie, thank you. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Sean's in the chat. I don't know what he challenged me to. He says, Coach doesn't want my smoke. Sean, please. The adults are playing right now. All right, AB, show your face. <clears throat> now, hey, good morning. The, yeah, good morning. So, the reason I didn't call for the recap is because we're fully transparent here on the show, correct? Correct, sir. Yeah. So, when somebody makes a mistake, we have to call them out, correct? Correct, sir. So, Mikey. Did you or did you not get your intro this morning? I did not get my intro, but I also didn't give the weather report, so I think it's even. Well, it's I don't know. E it's even. Uh, right, right. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll, t I'll take the blame for both of those today, all right? Put them on the shoulders, but that just means we got to hit our picks, so there we go. 
<laughs> All right. So put up the recap screen. Uh, that's that's a fair trade. That's a fair yeah. trade. All right. So this is quickly our recap. We got West Virginia, Pitt, first quarter under 10 and a half for Mikey. Allie's on the Brewers money line, minus 135. Emory, I'm I'm rolling with you, Emory. Minnesota, minus 36 and a half. Let's go. And if you're going to cash with me, we're going to Brewers, D-backs, late night. Me and Allie, we're going to be sweating it out together tonight. And then Pittsburgh, minus seven. That's courtesy of Michael Roberts and Sportsline. A.B., what do we got in the A.B. three? Yeah, so we got three plays, obviously college football all related tonight. I think you guys are going to enjoy them. First up, we are going to take, you remember this from last year, Tennessee, first quarter <laughs> spread, minus nine and a half. This is the fastest moving offense in the country. Josh Heupel returns quarterback, Hendon Hooker. These dudes put up points, especially in the first quarter. Ball State, a good football team, is going to have no clue the hurricane that just hit them tonight right out of the gate. So take them minus nine and a half second. We're going to roll the under 53 and a half between Penn state and Purdue. And look, I'm going to tell you why Yuck. Penn state, they went 10 and three to the under last year in 2021, second best in FBS. And you know what? Here's your nugget. Penn state did not score 31 points or more in any game last year versus a power five team and only allowed 17.3 points per game so we like that for the under and then lastly we are going to go central michigan oklahoma state under 58 as well look this could be a really good game you're looking at the last three years the two best teams against the spread in college football all of it that being said i want nothing to do with either and i think this game <laughs> is going to be defensive more than we think oklahoma state only allowed 18.1 points per game last season neither coach is going to want to make a mistake on that one so those are our three and here's your nugget of the day and we saw it on the graphic there pittsburgh we're looking at that against west virginia pittsburgh's defense dude they had more sacks last year than georgia's defense five more this defense is way better than people give it credit for so i like micah on that play there by the way somebody in the chat ab says you sound a little biased when you're giving out the tennessee pick i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know well let me say this let me say this that's there's a reason why I took Tennessee in the first quarter and not the entire game. <laughs> so let me just say that and even it back out. Oh, I'm going to jump in with some nuggets good. here, coach. Yes. Uh, just go. to give a B, you know, cause we do know a B is incredibly biased when it comes to Tennessee. Anything. <laughs> yes. The balls <laughs> highest scoring team in the first quarter by a wide margin, 14.7 mm -hmm. points in the first quarter last year. That was more than a field goal, more than the next best team. And just dropping down to the top 20, they're doubling up how many points another top 20 team scores in the first quarter. Absolutely crush them. And then second, the weather quickly. There's only one game is why we kind of missed it. Oakland, Washington, plus 10% home run hitting and run scoring. Every other game is very neutral within plus or minus 2 to 3%. Uh, so it should be a very neutral game with a slight lean towards unders and no on home run props. All right. There you go. See? You people ask. We answer. Quickly, I wanted to back up AB's Oklahoma State game. Well, I, you know, I love it. Let's go. I was go. I was just on HQ, and Central Michigan is my upset pick of the night, plus 21 and a half. The run game is going to be, a, a, you know, something that Oklahoma State is going to have a problem with. They lost a lot of their front seven to the NFL draft. That's a lot of production. You have Lou Nichols, one of the best running backs in the country. And even though they lost two NFL offensive linemen, Oklahoma State's offensive line is still good, and they still have a very good defense, and you're dealing with a mistake-prone Spencer Sanders. I, I like Central Michigan uh, plus 21 and a half, and I may sprinkle a little bit on the money line too. The money line? Damn, this, hey, let me this, say this. this just, please, let's go. Let's well, I was going to say, Emory and Mike, your, check, your, your checks are in the mail. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. By the way, I like when somebody gets it, right? Sean in the chat, you get it. You responded in kind. I respect that. I respect that. We're just here to have fun. We tease, and we can all take it. So thank you, Sean, for taking that and taking it so well. Damn it. So we got extra picks. Emory just gave an extra pick on the show. Didn't even know it. Central Michigan, get that hook though. 21 and a half. It's a big difference than 21. That's why I love this crew so much. We're here for you. We grind for you. We haven't missed a day since December 2020. I'd like to welcome back all those other sports betting brands that took the summer off. Welcome. We've been here every single day. Where were you? <clears throat> and with that being said, there's only one thing left to do. And I believe you all know what that is. 
You've got your marching orders. Let's take all of these tickets straight to the pay window. For my entire crew, I love them all. Emery Hunt's back. M Squared's back. Allie on her P's and Q's. And, of course, A.B. And, by the way, it's promo code early, not edge. The boss is called. They said it's early. It's early. Sometimes it's early for A.B. too. <clears throat> right here on the early edge. Good luck.